Boys and girls, how are we going? Uh, Matsy here. We're out in the Jugunga Wilderness, New South Wales, Australia. It's part of the Alpine region out here that we have. We're sitting at roughly 1,600 metres above the bloody sea level. We're out here for four days, three nights. I've never been here before. And from what I've been able to find out about the place, it just seems bloody beautiful. Two historical huts that we're gonna come across. And we're also gonna summit this old, this big old thing over here. That's Mount Jugungle. Come get some. Straight off bat. Didn't even take one step and um, cheapo tripod. Uh, camera just dropped straight off it onto ground. So that's good. Most of you guys know now I'm, I'm traveling around filming and living out of the car. I've got a rooftop tent. And the other night, hopped in the car, went to drive my three hours. I just happened to pick up the tripod off the passenger seat. I don't even know why I did. And I realized that the little swivel head on the top that the camera attaches to was busted. So I had to go pick up just a quick replacement from JB Hi-Fi in town. Uh, that was the best I could do. You would think for $100, it would last longer than 30 seconds. <laughs> so it says this trail can be done in about two to three days. Hello. I'm out here for four, like I said. I'm just gonna take my time. Look, okay. Very pretty, very pretty stream here. This runs out to the Tummet River. Tell you what, I'm just gonna follow this creek all the way to the Tummet River because that's way more scenic. And this just goes up the top along a fire trail and blow that, blow that, let's go. It's already paying dividends. Just following this stream through this meadow of dreams. Come on, mate. Now this is Australiana right here. The epitome of it. I know there's people probably concerned right now like because I've come off the track. As some of you know already, I spent five years in the Australian Army and I was in the infantry. So we were on the ground. We were in the bush all the time, doing navigation all the time. I actually got a specialist qual in reconnaissance and Spent a little while in the um, recon platoon. I just thought it's important to mention that because I don't want anyone thinking that you can just walk off track any old place without experience. Because I know I, I do make it look very, I don't know if easy is the word, but very entry level because I, you know, I'm a bit of a strange character and I don't take myself too seriously, but I do have skills to back up what I do out here. Right now I'm just following a game trail down here and we'll follow this creek out and it should run out to the Tummet River eventually. Well not should, it will. Huge wombat hole. I don't want to get attacked by him. If you don't know what a wombat is, jump on Google right now. They are the funniest creatures. We'll leave them alone and carry on down to the water. Really nice looking stretch of the stream here up against these boulders. Just thinking about pulling up for something to drink and something to eat. I've just noticed this gorge wall down there bordering one of the creeks. Looks pretty epic. So I'm just having a map of that area where the gorge is and it's indicating that it's even steeper on this side of the gorge. See the little gradient markings? Little sort of brown lines? The closer they are together the steeper it is and it's showing on this side. Let's see if I can zoom in. They're much closer together than they are on this side so there's still time for me to go down and check that out and then what I can do is I can continue over and follow the track on the other side and do the loop the other way around. This is what we're out here for. Okay more or less back down the way we just came up. I'm not a huge fan of established trails and that's not me trying to be a cool dude going off grid and all that sort of stuff. I think most guys who have served in the infantry, when they get out, it's very hard to find something that matches that level of challenge. And, you know, a lot of us do find hiking sort of fills a bit of that void, but being on established trails, it's just it's so hard to explain. It's so, it's just such a watered down experience for us anyway. I'm not 
knock in anybody who loves the trails they're great places and it's a great way to get in, into the nature but for a lot of us it's just sounds really bad but it can be really mind numbing you, you may as well be walking down the the street back home i know that sounds so lame but that's just how it feels so you need to get off the beaten track and you know have a bit of a battle Okay, am I about to just walk down, walk down creek all the way? Probably. Neil. Oh. Hello. What footprints are these boys? Is that dingo? Goes down here, looks super specky, and then a horse shoes around. So I'm gonna cut track straight up over the top here, because it's not too steep, and as you can see, it's not very high. <laughs> oh, mate. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. This is Matsy's Peak. So we're gonna call this Matsy's Peak. That's his summit. <laughs> Tell you what though, that gorge ain't looking as, as crazy from here as it did back there. Fourth down the creek of no mercy. Okay, we're about to come up around to the gorge. Not a bad little bathtub, that's for sure. Got all the way to the gorge. Put my bum in the drink. You wouldn't bloody read about it. That's the gorge right there. That's what we came to see. That's what we spent um, a few hours scrambling down to get to. That's adventure though, mate. That's the spirit, that's the human spirit right there. You don't know if it's gonna be amazing or not. You just, you hope and uh, you just enjoy the journey there. Oh mate, I put myself in Doom Gorge all over again. Oh, oh dear. Okay, just through our first trout. Little guy just swam up in there, so it could be on. There's the work. Just when you think you're the only person um, mental enough to come down to a place like this, All right, now that's done, should we do this hike? <laughs> Whoa. Wow. I think I'm just gonna sit up here for a bit, look at that. <laughs> what are the chances of that happening right then? Nature baby, <laughs> come and get some. So, I'm thinking I might do a bit of trout fishing. I'll go down, see if it's worth doing a bit of a fish. I might just fish up along here for a little way, but then I'll crack on with the trail and get up the top there and we'll see some views. Oh mate, that is quite the view. Any fish? Yeah. Be the cat in 
the sun Someday All right, well, we might call it there. It's 3.30. I might start making my way back to that junction there where I can hop back up onto this trail and um, just maybe hike for a couple more hours and uh, pick somewhere to set up camp. eventually give up on the fishing about an hour after we said we would it's nearly going on 4 30 now and i really need to go find a place to get a camp established get a campfire going uh, start thinking about putting on some warmer layers because as soon as the sun starts to set here the temperature drops considerably it'll probably get down to about four or five degrees tonight that's the way mate off the track off you go and that's why I've got these uh, incredibly sexy gators on, because these are actually snake proof, snake buster gators. Bloody hell. That's where I crawled out of just before. <laughs> okay, so we've just come up from that way, and the track bends around there. There's a few boulders just over there. I might be able to seek some shelter behind from the wind. Still get a nice view of the mountains. Yeah, see what we can set up, eh? Ah. <laughs> ah, well, it's not flat um, at all, which is fine, you know me, whatever, eh? There's a few patches around here I can have a little fire on, just a small one just to cook some food on and uh yeah <sighs> big day let's do this <laughs> all right we're all set up now and as you can see uh Penthouse views, uh, 360 degrees, um, panorama. Not too bad at all, not too bad. All right, something real yummy for dinner tonight. Off-grid provisions. You would have seen me, I think I had one or two of their meals last year. It was like a spaghetti bolognese and it was better than anything I could cook at home. And this is a venison stroganoff and uh, I've just got some of their good rice to go with it. Yum. Proper chunks in there. Hard to beat that view, hey. Such a nice time of day. Nice time of day to be smashing, smashing down a hearty meal like this, I'll tell you that. Right, all right, all right. Bowling up some water to make myself a hot chocolate. Meanwhile, while that cools down just a little, Pink or white, comment below, hashtag. I'm a bit of a sucker for both, to be honest. I know it's a bit of a cop-out answer, but how do you guys do them too? Comment that below too. Oh, oh no, I just got the top off. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? I quite preferred the white one just then. Mm. Whoops. 
Uh, sorry guys, took too long making hot chucky. That we missed the sunset. Just. Ooh, the colours. Colours of the world. The colours of Australia, right there. Behold the beauty. That is the earth. Look at it. Unbelievable. Every day this happens, I keep telling them. Full moon. <sighs> Better not be any werewolves about. Oh, I feel like the reverse of a butterfly life cycle. I feel like yesterday I was butterfly. Um, I'm about to crawl out of here, caterpillar. Uh, it's uh, five past eight on the rocket clock. The good thing about this walkabout swag is you can just zip these right down, throw that off you, open your sleeping bag, and you can just sit here and get changed and you're up off the damp ground. Oh, God. I'm pretty lazy for somebody who likes to hike 100 billion miles out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we're cooking with gas this morning. Where's my stove? There's my stove. Now I've actually changed my mind. I'm not gonna have a hot coffee. I wanna have one of these hydration repair and clean energy drinks by Off Grid. I've used similar brands before over the years. Just good for when you got a lot of K's to cover. Uh, helps with cramps and stuff like that. Oh, that's really good actually. It's really subtle. It's not like a lot of the other ones you get that just taste like full blown sugar. Adds a little bit of sweetness to the water and that's about it. That tastes, that tastes way healthier. All right, we're all done. Uh, now that's what I call brekkie in bed. Uh, we're just gonna get packed up and hit the trail. So Mount Jigungle is roughly between say 15 to 20 k's away. There is a hut between here and there, but because I had this all mapped out in my head in the reverse order, so I don't know what the distance is between here and the hut, but it's called O'Keefe's Hut. I think you can camp there as a fireplace on the outside, so it'll be cool to check it out. There she is, Mount Jigungle. Let's go. I recently had a comment on uh, on the YouTube, 100% troll, don't get me wrong, I didn't take anything from it, but I thought it was a good talking point. Essentially, this guy wrote, hey bro, uh, no offense, but I'm just not sure whether this is a, an outdoor hiking channel or if it's a mental health channel anymore. Because the OG, the OG of you used to just enjoy the outdoors. So yeah, I don't think people should be broadcasting that sort of stuff to other people. <laughs> well, bro, listen, I'm a multi-layered human being, aren't I? Uh, essentially, I'm probably talking to an AI bot right now. But anyway, <laughs> I'm a multi-layered human being. Um, I think the channel's a bit of both, and I think it has been since day one. I think most of you guys would agree as well. I've always been um, open and 
just like my authentic self and just shared what's on the old noggin and I've always said that's why I'm out here because these places make me feel good and get me away from the stresses of life also what a what a bloody mental thing to say to somebody who's sharing their uh, their their internal mental health issues Whoa, mate but it got me thinking I know that many of you who watch this channel and I know because you sent me messages lovely encouraging messages and comments and whatever saying that um you know you're struggling with something whether it's you know a mental health issue or maybe you you know you're stuck up in hospital for a few months trying to uh, recover from an accident or whatever it might be and it's keeping you from places like this and like hospitals aren't great places are they so you can only imagine you're sitting there and you're stewing and you're just naturally going to start getting depressed because you can't be out there can't be out there doing doing the things that you really enjoy Bloody hell mate, pull it together. Yeah, you message me and you tell me how these videos help you get through those times. And I fully get it, and it's partly why I started making these videos, because I used to watch I used to watch outdoor channels for the exact same reason, and I think that's where the connection came from for me to want to start doing this myself. So that's it. We're marching on and uh, we're gonna we're gonna dedicate this hike. We're gonna get to the top of Bloody Mount Jagungle just for all you lot out there watching in the name of mental health whatever you want to call it whatever hey doesn't even have to have a name it's just a part of being a human being this one's on you guys <sighs> we're a bloody team let's go perfect timing for a water resupply so that's bogong creek down there which we'll cross over and then not too sure maybe in a k or two k's we're going to hit o'keefe's hut so we'll stop, have some lunch there, check out the hut, and decide our movements from there. Let's go. Looking pretty specky. Okay, so, uh, funny story. So I started approaching, I saw that there was a bit of kit just outside the front door so I was like oh I better yell out hello just so I don't speak anybody <laughs> I get to about here and I'm like hello and then I just hear oh silly and I'm like whoa what the hell there's this um, lady here Trinity and she's actually doing the national trail and <laughs> she's she's come from Cooktown Queensland so she's been out on the trail um, for the last 10 months I think she said since May last year which is wild I've tried to see if I can get her on camera to tell a story she may or may not we'll see how yeah, cool is this hut? All the paper articles from like that timeline. So this one did actually burn down and they, they did have to rebuild it. I think it was around 2010, something like that. Not a bad little upgrade to the fireplace here. Okay, it's, there's the man himself. Original builder. Ooh, he was in the army. I wonder, wonder if he was an infantryman. <laughs> That's the original one built in 1933. Well, it's a painting, obviously. It's a paint. It's not the real thing. It's not a photo. Yeah. Pretty unreal. How's this chair? Oh. Bushcraft. <laughs> Fill out the logbook later. It's just a little bedroom, a little storeroom. How's that? Bushcraft again. Anyway, I'm going to have some lunch. Alright guys, so I decided I'm just going to camp by this hut tonight and then I'll push forward to do the Jigungle Mountain tomorrow. It is, it's currently 6 o'clock now. It's been nice, we've just been having some lunch and having a chat. She's been telling me all about her, her bloody experience on the trail and it's pretty wicked. Some pretty cool stories and definitely very inspirational. Yeah, right now about to cook up some dinner and got the fire going and just chilling out. So I brought this one little can of Kraken Spice Rum out with me and I wasn't sure if I'd maybe hold on to it until um, summiting, uh, what's that mountain called? Mount Jajungle. Mount Jajungle. <laughs> Jajungle. Jajungle. But uh, I thought this was a perfect opportunity to have it and split it with Trinity to uh, celebrate, uh, I mean obviously a nice place out here, but also to your big walk. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> How good is that? That's pretty good. <laughs>
heading towards Mount Jagungo. That's the one. <laughs> so all the track notes are pretty much written to be sort of travelled in the other direction. Yeah. So you just got to backtrack along them and yeah. work it out. Easy. Light work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's the opposite of north? <laughs> <laughs> Someone hold the shovel. I mean, yeah. We all love a good prop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do with your? Just that. Yep. Sweet. <laughs> and a thumbs up. <laughs> hold the shovel. All right. <laughs> I think I'll do it the other way. Though. Yeah. That makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's ready. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. This is a bit colder than what I thought. Yeah, yeah it's pretty fresh, eh? I think it's just, you know, it's that time when it gets a little bit colder. Yeah. 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 All right, I'm going to head in that way through there. Yep. And then up that spur. Yes, you are. So <laughs> <laughs> Good luck out there. I wish you safe travels and oh, thank you. So nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. That, uh, was, that yeah. was unreal. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. All right, have fun. Bye. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> there she goes, the crazy lady on the national trail. <laughs> See ya. Bye. <laughs> unreal. Pretty gnarly what she's doing. So she's on the national trail. She started at Cooktown in Queensland. And I think she said when she hit Canberra, she had just hit over about 4,150 kilometers or something like that. So I'm not sure exactly what she'd be up to now. Obviously she's diverted onto the, what is it like the Australian Alpine walking track, because obviously there's so much out here that's worth seeing. So she's diverting from the track. Yeah, when there's something you know, she, she wants to explore. I think that's the best way to do it. I just finished reading Gone Bush. He talks about at the end, um, you know, how people might say if you, if you have a plan to start at A and finish at B down there, things change or, you know, you stop in and you have like a month off to visit friends or something like that. He's like, have you really done it, you know, in one complete walk? And then he says, doesn't really matter because I did it my way. So that's all that matters. You know what it do? Upside down, is it? Yeah. Okay, plan from here is I'll um I've already packed up. Leave no sign. I'll go in. I'll make sure the fire's completely out. I'll collect some more firewood to chuck in there. Give it a sweep, even though Trinity gave it a sweep about 500 times since I was there, which is good. We want to leave it better than you find it. And then I'm going to head down, continue the walk, come across the Tummet River, have another crack at trout fishing. We'll see. And then I will commence the climb of the Jigungal Mountain. All right, off we go. See you, buddy. Thank you for your shelter. A little update on the old tripod camera situation. And it actually fell off again, not last night, but the night before at camp and it made a really bad sound when it hit the ground. And uh, basically just as I was reaching that hut, I realized that it's stuffed the lens. Everything's blurred and out of focus. So there you go. Thanks uh, JB Hi-Fi for uh, stocking an absolute piece of garbage. Uh, oh well, there's the big boy right now. Off we go. Just going back to what Trinity's doing. She really just planned to do it for her own self growth and for the sort of once in a lifetime experience and you know, things you'd learn along the way and learn about yourself. And uh, in the time that she was preparing for it, the Byron Bay Wildlife Hospital lost a lot of government funding. Her and her friends thought, why don't you set up like a GoFundMe to help bring in support for the, the animal hospital. It costs a lot of money to care for animals and um, give them all the food they need all the medicines they need and uh, housing, everything. A lot goes into it. 
So I'll drop the link below, but I do strongly encourage you to head over, follow the link in the description to her GoFundMe. The money goes directly to the animal hospital. It doesn't go through her. Uh, what she's doing is completely self-funded. So the money goes directly to the animal hospital, which is amazing. And uh, I'm out of breath and she's walked from Queensland. <laughs> what a sack. Bloody hell, mate. That's gonna be a task. Just when you think there's nothing bigger out here than you. Let's go, come on. All right, this is me, guys. I'm just gonna go jump in that shuttle and uh, get blasted up to the top of that meteorite. It's just about hit 9 a.m. and I'm thinking if I stop and I have a fish, have brekkie, I'll be walking up in the middle of the day. It's still sunny as hell, but the side that I'll hike up is still in the shade. So I think I may have to do the climb first. That's what I'm thinking. Just gonna do a quick map check, but there's a post out there. Oh, uh, yep, I see the trail. This colored post here, I don't know if I'm even pointing at it, but then you can see the little single foot trail leading up over there and then I'll go up the ridge, up onto the top. Forth we go. It's all good in the hood. It's all good in the hood. Just about up out of that scrub, down from the river, heading up through the last little bit to get to the ridge that will follow up. So we're going to gain about 500 meters in elevation over roughly 2.93 k's. And it says it'll take roughly about two and a half hours. We shall see. <laughs> two and a half hours return, that is. <laughs> Oh, we've done it again. No, too soon, too soon. Wow. Just quickly breaking track. Look at this. Look at this stubby snow gum. Look at this guy. Hey. Oh. He's so chunky. So cold to touch too. That feels so good after doing that hike. Oh mate. He's so damn chunky. Oh, this would be such a nice place to sit and have some lunch. Must be lonely up here, mate. Oh, I suppose you got your other tree friends. Just past the bloke. You can see that red dot in the distance down there. His mate's still up there. He's about to start heading down. He just wanted to get one last view, can't blame him, but they're doing this loop trail in the opposite direction. <sighs> ah, hard to bump into a grumpy person out here, isn't it? <laughs> just bumped into his mate. Super lovely bloke, both lovely blokes. Um, he was just saying he's out here sort of ticking off a few more stretches of the Alpine Trail that sounds like he's spent a lot of his years exploring. He said he's just filling in some gaps. <laughs> Man, I hope that's, hope that's me at that age, that's for sure. Good on him. Anyway, just see a marker marking the summit. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Hold up. I'm higher up than the summit marker. I am the summit marker. Over there, that looks like Scotland Highlands. I never been, but I've seen some films. Anyway, I really like the look of that place over there with that outlook, so we'll go over there, have some lunch. We did it. Mount Jagungle. As we were saying goodbye to each other, I was like, all right, mate, enjoy the rest of your walk. And he goes, yeah, go easy, mate, go easy. And I thought, wow, I like the way he said that. That sounded cool, I might use that one. I think I'm going to adopt that one. Go easy. Okay, don't look, don't look. Here we go. The big reveal. Oh, we're about to, we're about to kick depression's butthole.
take your bloody metaverse and you can shove it up your... Man, am I glad I came up earlier when I did. It's just, it's so pleasant up here right now. It's so cool and the air is so fresh. Pretty sure what I'm looking out to is main range. Pretty sure I can see um, one of the ski slopes from here. Anyway, I'm gonna have a bite to eat and just enjoy this view for a while. I'm in no rush now. You know, I could have I could have come out here in, in like any weather. You just never know what you're gonna get when you get to the top of some of these mountains, what the view's gonna be like. But I've, I've come up here and I've just had blue skies and sun absolutely grace me. Sometimes you just gotta follow these trails because you never know where it's gonna take you. Where it's gonna take you. Just soak that up. Soak that up, up here, and kick that black dog out, you know what I mean? So it's looking like the altitude is 2191. Easy. Okay, we'll start making our way down and make our way to, I believe it's pronounced Dush, Dushko's hut. Dushkov's hut? Dush, Dushko's? Sorry, mate. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I feel like I could be walking through absolute outback Australia right now. There's just nothing around, just this fire trail that just goes and goes and goes. All right, we've just turned off to head up to check out Dershko's hut. Fresh liquor paint and everything. This is a cool one. Literally, it's cool in here. Little coat room. Have a bit of a, a sit there, maybe a sleep. So that's the front door, or it could be the back door, I don't know. There's a couple cool maps. Kosciuszko, beautiful fireplace in the middle here. Dershko's hut log book, we'll, we'll sign that. Bits and bobs. And then, yeah, just another little room here. Nice window. Bit fogged up. All right, we're just heading out of the hut. Saw everything we needed to see. Had a bloke, another hiker, rock up. He's pretty much just smashed out the hike from the car park to here real quick. <laughs> it's two o'clock and he's decided he's just gonna chill out the rest of the day and crack on in the morning to do the mountain and go stay at O'Keefe's tomorrow night. So still plenty of daytime, hence why I'm not staying at that hut. Wanna try and have an easy walk to the car tomorrow. So what I'll do is keep following along the trail and uh, find a nice place to camp and do the same as him, just chill out, I guess. Just checking to see if I can spot any trout. Yeah, unfortunately not. I know I said I wanted to do some fishing at the Tummet River when I got down the bottom of Jigungal Mountain, but unfortunately, where it meets at the bottom there, it's only very narrow, and I had a look, and again, couldn't see any action. Hence why we just cracked onto the hut. Yeah, I think I'll give that one a miss, thanks. Oh. I'm going up there going down and then up and around there go it's very hot and it's very it's very exposed out there oh mate that track is like seven galaxies away
Well guys, I'm absolutely rooted. Um, I'm pretty much back at the car park. A couple more Ks. I think I'm just gonna pull up stumps under the shade here. Have this view to enjoy this evening. Somewhere here in this nice, nice patch of shade. Not a bad little tucked away shelter there. Okay, last dinner for the trip, and I've got a campus pantry, Moroccan pork. This is a dehydrated meal. These are these hail from Tasmania, and uh, yeah, they're bloody good. So if you want a discount, check the link in the description below. These are my go-to when I'm trying to save weight, that's for sure. 300 mil of boiling water going in. Am I gonna measure it? Probably should, but absolutely I'm not. <laughs> that's foolish. Oh no, it's the couscous one again. Oh, I definitely should have measured it. Traditional Moroccan pork served with vegetables and couscous. <gasps> I did this last time I freestyled it and then I realized it was couscous. So it was just like, just couscous swimming. That's all it was. <laughs> We're just gonna kick back and um, wait for that range to start turning nice colors. The sun is just about to go down. Yeah, it's literally going down right now at 6.30. Life's good. Okay, let's see how we went. Oh, oh, yes, thank God. It's not sloppy. Woo, here we go. Mmm. El dente. What a bloody trip this has been, hey? I feel like so much has happened in just a few days. Unbelievable. Starting to get a bit of color over there. Such a pretty bird call. <laughs> the colors are kicking off now. All right, guys, I'm going to enjoy this fire. There's a big old, not quite full moon, just risen above the horizon over there. Got all the stars out tonight, so I'm going to enjoy this, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. I've got a little stream that crosses over the track, not too far from my camp. So go collect some water there. It's funny how it always comes to this point of the trip, right at the end, where reality sinks back in and you know you're about to leave and head back to the car. Having a tea this morning. Oh, 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 it's the worst, isn't it? Drop that in. Yeah. Oh, mate. Third time's the charm. Stick with me, kid, you'll be all right. It's the Swagman's Christmas tree.
Farewell, beautiful lands. Farewell. All right, boys and girls. Well, we're off back to the car now. And I want to leave you with a couple things to remember, okay? Lock these up there. One is that sometimes it's worth taking chances because at first, even if it may seem like it hasn't worked out, you never know what's waiting around the corner. Could be something worthwhile, you know? Second, just use whatever gear you got to get out there, you know? Go out in the warmer seasons. You don't have to worry too much about hypothermia and all that. Just use what you got and, and believe me, you'll just, I reckon you'll just fall in love with it. And three, if you're going through something, I got your back, all right? I'm gonna keep coming out here to share these beautiful and wonderful and amazing places with you. And uh, like I said, it's like a privilege for me to be able to film these and share them with you. And it's something that I don't take lightly at all. I think these trails are growing on me, you know? I started off this hike talking about how I like to go off track, but this trip's been really lovely bumping into people. Anyway, back off to find my car or my home as it would be and see where the hell I'm gonna stay for the next few days while I edit this up. Thanks guys. See you in the next one. Matsy out. And remember, go easy. We've done it again. It feels so good. So right.